What happens when you stop having sex? You might feel more anxious. Sex might be the last thing on your mind when you're stressed out, but it could help reduce your anxiety. Engaging in sex appears to decrease the levels of stress hormones your body releases. Moreover, maintaining an active sex life can contribute to your overall happiness and health, which in turn may help keep anxiety at bay. Your heart may not work as well. Research indicates that people who have sex once a month or less are more likely to develop heart disease compared to those who have sex around twice a week. This could be partly because sex provides some exercise and may reduce anxiety and depression. Additionally, those who have more frequent sex might already be in better physical and mental health. You might get less exercise. Sex generally burns about 5 calories per minute, similar to a brisk walk. It also increases oxygen consumption, comparable to gardening or walking down the stairs. While this might not seem significant at first, it accumulates over time. Additionally, because sex can enhance your mental health, it may encourage you to engage in other physical activities, such as joining a neighborhood kickball team, hiking, or doing housework. You may lose your keys more often. Well, it's less about losing them and more about forgetting where you place them. Regular sex appears to be associated with better memory, particularly for individuals aged 50 to 89, although the reasons for this are not yet clear. Your immune system may get weaker. Weekly sex appears to enhance your immune system compared to less frequent activity. This may be partly because it increases levels of immunoglobulin A, IgA, a substance that fights germs. However, more isn't always better, people who had sex more than twice a week had lower IgA levels than those who were abstinent. Your relationship changes. Sex releases a chemical, afterglow, in your brain that lasts about two days, helping to strengthen your long-term bond with your partner. Without this, you might lose some relationship satisfaction. Couples who engage in sex at least once a week tend to be the happiest, as a healthy and fulfilling sexual relationship can foster trust and understanding between partners. Your prostate may be less healthy. The reasons aren't entirely clear, but at least one study found that men who ejaculated less than seven times a month had a higher likelihood of developing prostate cancer compared to those who ejaculated at least 21 times a month. However, engaging in unprotected sex with multiple anonymous partners can also increase your risk of the disease, so it's important to take precautions when having sex. You might sleep less. Without sex, you'll miss out on hormones like prolactin and oxytocin that promote restful sleep. Women also benefit from an estrogen boost, which enhances this effect. Conversely, if you want to resume having sex, getting a good night's sleep can help increase your desire. Aches and pains hang around. Sex can effectively distract you from aches and pains, but it offers more benefits than just a temporary diversion. An orgasm releases endorphins and other hormones that can alleviate headaches, back pain, and leg aches. These hormones might also help reduce arthritis pain and menstrual cramps. You could have sexual problems later. It might sound strange, but the phrase, use it or lose it, is relevant here. For women going through menopause, lack of regular intercourse can cause vaginal tissue to become thin, shrink, and dry out, leading to painful sex and reduced desire. Additionally, some research indicates that men who have sex less than once a week are twice as likely to experience erectile dysfunction ED, compared to those who have sex weekly. Your blood pressure might rise. Sex appears to contribute to maintaining lower blood pressure levels. This is logical when you consider its effects. It involves some aerobic and muscle-building exercise, reduces anxiety, and enhances overall well-being, all of which contribute to maintaining healthy blood pressure levels. From love bombing to gaslighting, red flags one should never ignore in romantic relationships. Embarking on a journey of love is beautiful, yet it's vital to recognize behaviors indicating an unhealthy relationship. While ups and downs are normal, certain warning signs should never be overlooked. Identifying these early can prevent emotional harm and nurture healthy, respectful connections. Here are some crucial red flags to be mindful of in romantic relationships. 1. Love bombing. Love bombing is when one partner floods the other with intense attention, flattery, and affection in the early stages of the relationship. While initially thrilling, this excessive display of love often masks underlying issues. The love bomber's goal is to swiftly establish control and foster dependency. 
After gaining control, the overwhelming affection typically decreases, leaving the recipient feeling uncertain and insecure. 2. Isolation. Isolation happens when one partner tries to separate the other from friends, family, and other support systems. This can be subtle, like discouraging social interactions, or direct, such as prohibiting contact with loved ones. Isolation heightens dependence on the abuser and makes it harder for the victim to seek assistance or recognize the abuse. 3. Controlling behavior. Controlling behavior can appear in different forms, such as dictating a partner's clothing choices, social interactions, and daily activities. This control may also extend to financial matters, including restricting access to money or financial details. Such behaviors diminish autonomy and can result in feelings of powerlessness and confinement. 4. Excessive Jealousy and Possessiveness. While a degree of jealousy is typical in relationships, excessive jealousy and possessiveness should raise concerns. This may involve frequently monitoring a partner, baseless accusations of infidelity, and a constant need for detailed knowledge of their activities. Such behavior stems from insecurity and often escalates into controlling and abusive actions. 5. Disrespect and Dismissiveness. In healthy relationships, mutual respect forms the foundation. When one partner consistently shows disrespect, belittles, or disregards the other's feelings, opinions, or accomplishments, it signals a serious concern. This behavior may manifest as verbal abuse, including name-calling or making hurtful jokes at the partner's expense. Such actions can profoundly impact self-esteem and indicate an unhealthy relationship dynamic. 6. Frequent Mood Swings while occasional mood swings are common, frequent and unpredictable changes in mood may signify underlying issues. If a partner's mood swings make you feel constantly on edge or compelled to constantly appease them, it is a reason for concern. This behavior can contribute to emotional exhaustion and anxiety. 7. Gaslighting. Gaslighting involves psychological manipulation in which one partner causes the other to question their own reality, memory, or perceptions. Typical gaslighting phrases include, you're too sensitive, or, that never happened. This behavior can undermine self-esteem and foster dependency on the abuser for validation of reality. Over time, the individual subjected to gaslighting may begin to doubt their sanity, resulting in considerable emotional distress. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.